Okay, and welcome back students taking math for business and finance and math applications. We're working on the chapter 11 word problems, the odd numbered problems, and we left off on 11, so we're doing 13 now. So uh, let me get my pen. Okay, so Toyota Motor Corporation has faced tough times after losing production due to natural disasters. This coupled with the yen's appreciation um, against the dollar has Toyota anticipating net profits of 51% lower than last year, that of last year. Uh, if Toyota has a $20,000 yen note at 2.5% for 340 days, what would Toyota's proceeds be if it discounted, discounted the note on day 215 at 4%? round to the nearest yen for each answer. Okay, so for the first thing here is it doesn't matter whether it's the US dollar or the Japanese yen or any other currency. Um, as long as you don't have to do a currency conversion, uh, in other words, yen to the dollar or you know Deutschmark to the dollar, um, as long as you're st staying with the same currency, because think about it, if you're in Japan and you're working with the yen, the same principles apply because you're working as the base currency in yen so it doesn't really matter that this is a yen it just all that matters is is the number the numbers that you're using okay so it says if toad had a twenty thousand dollar yen note so that's principal right and remember we were uh, our formulas interest is equal to face value or principal times rate times time and our maturity value is Again, the face value plus the interest. Right? Um, so if Toyota has a $20,000 yen, that's the principal or face value, at 2.5% interest, that's the rate. For 340 days, that's the time. What would Toyota's proceeds be if it discounted the note on day 215 at 4%? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is figure out what the, uh, the mature value is, uh, maturity value is of, of the $20,000 yen note. So you have 20,000 times 0 0.25, because that's 2.5%, oh, 0 0.025, sorry, Me. 0 0.025 times um, 340 days over 360 and remember we had said that even though it doesn't tell you whether you're using ordinary or exact for problems like these you're uh, generally going to use the ordinary okay so we do the math on this and we get 20,000 times 0 0.025 times 340 we end up with 170,000 in the numerator and we divide that by 360 in the denominator and that gives us 472.22 uh, as the interest so we take our 20,000 and add our 472.22 whoops Add that together so we get 20,472. 22 is our maturity value. Um, see here, we're going to round to the nearest yen for each uh, for each answer, so we end up with 20,472. Okay, now um, we need to figure out what the discount period is. So if we had 340 days and it's discounted on day 215, that means uh, the discount period was 125 days. So up here I'm going to put the 20,472 and I'm going to put the 125 days. And I'm going to erase all of this. So pause and copy it all down if you need to. Just need more space here. Okay, almost done. There we go. 
Okay, so um, in order to calculate the discount, okay, so we want to know what are the proceeds if it is discounted. Okay, so we have to know how much it's being discounted. So we um, take our 20472 and it's being discounted at 4%. Okay, so that's 0 0.04. And that was for the period, uh, you know, the discount period was 125 days over 360. Okay. So we take our 2472 times 0 0.04 times 125, and we have 102360 over 360. Divide by 360, and the Discount is 284.33, which um, we're going to round to 284. So we take the um, the face value of 20,472, and we subtract 284, and our proceeds ends up end up being. Let's see here, 2188. So that is the amount of the proceeds um, that Toyota would get. Okay. All right, next problem. Uh, 1115. Okay, Rex Corporation accepted a $5,000, 8%, 120 day note dated August 8th from Regis Company in the settlement of a past bill. On October 11th, Rex discounted the note at Park Bank at 9%. What was the note's maturity value, discount period, and bank discount? And what proceeds did Rex receive? Okay. All right. So, you know, basically it's all still the same thing, okay? times rate times time times time and no, times interest sorry okay so we have um, let's see here we have uh, a $5,000 note at 8% interest for 120 days so that's 5,000 times 0 0.08 times 120, which is 48,000, divided by 360, which is 133.33. Okay. And the maturity value then becomes the 5,000 plus the 133.33 or 5,133, so that's our mature value, the 5,133.33. Okay, the next thing we need to do is figure out the discount period, so um, we're talking about from August 8th and to October 11th. All right. So let's jump up to our Julian calendar there and look at October 11th. I'm sorry, August 8th. August 8th is 220. And October 11th is 284. So 284 less 220. Um, is 64 days. So let me erase that. Remember the 64. Okay, and go back down to the slide. Okay, so um, 64 days had passed, right? But the note is a 120 day note. So we subtract this 64 days. And that tells us 56 days have passed, which is, you know, that's the discount period. Okay. So if so, we're 56 days have passed. That's the discount period. Let me erase all of this. So copy it down. Pause and copy it down. 
Notice that this is the exact same thing that we did in the previous one, except we were looking at yen. Okay, I mean, but the exact same it's the exact same procedure. There's nothing different. Um, you know, it, it's almost plug and play the numbers. Okay, uh, so now we need to um, figure out our bank discount. All right, so we're going to take the uh, five thousand one hundred thirty-three thirty-three. And that's being discounted at 9%, so that's 0 0.09. And that was for 56 days, right, over 360. And we do the math again. 5133.33 times 0 0.09 times 56 gives me 25,871.98 over 360. So when we divide by 360, we end up with $71 and 86.6 or 87 cents. We round up, right? So it was actually it was 71.8666. But we're going since this is dollars and cents. We're looking here. We're rounding up, so we have $71.87. So we take our proceed, um, our maturity value of 51.33, our phase value of 51.33.33, and we subtract the discount amount of 81.87, and that gives us our proceeds of uh, 5,061.46. So there's the, the proceeds. So our notes maturity value is that. The discount period is that, the bank discount is that, and the proceed is that. Okay? Those four components. But notice it was the exact same thing that we did back here on the, the previous problem. Here's our maturity value. Right? There was the discount period. Um, this was the bank discount, and this was the proceeds. Same thing. Okay? All right, we have one more problem, and uh, it's at 12 minutes, so uh, let me see here. I'm going to try to... No, I'm going to pause and uh, do this one because uh, of the number of days, so I'll see you in the next video.